They've read a book and want to talk about it. It's the Izzy and Coco Book Review Show. Welcome again to Izzy and Coco's Book Review Show. I am Coco. Now I'm Izzy, and today we are reviewing How to Build a Girl by Caitlin Moran. Moran? Moran. Moran. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Moran. So, uh, How to Build a Girl is a coming-of-age story about Johanna Morgan, a 14-year-old living in England, in a small town in England, who embarrasses herself so terribly on a TV show. On reading, national TV, yeah. Uh, reading her uh, a poem of hers that she creates an alter ego called um, Dolly Wild, Wild mm -hmm. <laughs> to get through her puberty. Uh, and it's her story of how she decides to become a musician reviewer. A writer? Yeah, a, a, music, a music writer? Yeah, reviewer, yeah. And uh, how she grows up through her teenagers. I really like this book. I didn't know what to expect, but I, this book kept popping up a lot. A lot of people were recommending it and I liked it. I could totally not, it's crazy, not totally, I could relate to it as a, as a teenager growing up and not knowing how to find yourself where you belong. Uh, she's raunchy and dirty and very real. It was a good book. I really liked it. This book is really gritty. Yeah, it's really gritty. gritty. That's what I was looking for. But yeah. I, I, I definitely, I definitely recommend this book. Yeah. It, it is so. It really gets to you on an emotional level. I cried reading this book, oh. and I, I really, I had a connection with it. I mean, I, I feel with like getting bullied and feeling different and not knowing how to find yeah. yourself. You know, trying to figure out who you are while yes. you're growing up. I, I, I particularly remember this part. Where she she just discovered the goth movement. She saw her her, her cousin dressed oh. as a goth, and she thought, "I'm gonna be goth." I'm like, that, "That's me, <laughs> that's right my there. solution." Yes. Like, no. And so she she dresses like them, everything, and goes and meets in the corner where her cousin hangs out, her older cousin. And then okay, they're like, "Oh, okay, you're goth now. So what bands are you into?" And she had no idea what. So, there's music I'm supposed to know. Yes! She oh was like, God. God, I need to do more research. It was adorable. <laughs> She's like, she knew what she wanted to be, but didn't quite know how to go so about it. Funny. I'm, yes. Yeah. And then when she realizes, oh my God, there's this whole indie music movement, and she researches, she goes to the okay. library. Very adorable. She, oh. she knows she's going to love this music because she reads magazines about it. But she's never heard it. She has no idea, but she's like, I know I'm going to love it because they said here, la 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 how they describe it. Yes, music. yes. This is, this is me. I connect <laughs> with this. And I've never heard this music. Oh, my God. Well, that's good. so But sweet. then she, you know, she really, really does her research. She, she can't, can't afford to buy the records, but the library lends them out. So, but uh, she has to pay for the rental, and she, they, it's a family that's really poor because it's, uh, she has lots of brothers and sisters. It's a big family. It's a big family. And they all live on disability because her father was a fireman who had a back injury, so he can't work. And, yes, uh, he has his good days and bad days, and mm -hmm. he's also a struggling musician. He, he, he knows he's going to be a rock star, eventually get there, and that's interesting because she ends up in the music industry, like reviewing bands, and that's what she does for a living, so it's really tough to, because her dad keeps, in, like, pushing, like, yeah, 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 you're gonna get me out there, right, right, right? Yeah. you're gonna make me famous, you're yeah. gonna finally, we're, yeah. we're gonna bust the family out of this crappy town because yeah, you're gonna make me dumb. famous rock star, so that's, that's tough, but, um, it's, oh my god, it, it's a brilliant book. I, it, it is. Totally the different. situations she gets into are insane and make you cringe. And she ends up discovering her sexuality. She, she loves music. She has these bands that she likes because her parents listen to it. Right? And she's just discovering the indie music. But the, So that's one of her obsessions is music. But another one is losing her virginity. Oh, and not only losing her virginity, she's going to be the best person at having sex. Oh, yeah. That's her goal. I'm like... If I'm gonna be the best at having sex. I'm gonna line up around the block to have sex with me because I'm gonna be so good at it. Like, like she, like she, that's the whole the 
motivation behind yes. getting good at sex. Like, yes. people are going to want to be around her and yes. be with her because she's so awesome at sex. And yes. she's gonna, people are going to look up to her and respect her because yes. she's so good at it. And she is delusional. She is insane she's and I love it. But then, like, oh, and she's, like, super horny little kid. Like, it oh my starts God. her it's being a 14 her. and, and she, she can't find her. enough objects to shove in herself. <laughs> Mind you, she shares her room with her little brother and, and her older, older brother. And her poor older brother is like, they no, they all they know, know what's going on. on. <laughs> they know what's going on. Oh. oh no, she shares a room with them, but she shares the bed with her little baby. Oh, no. And she's just like going at it at night and her older brother is like, no, you need to get me out of this room. He yeah. actually moves to the living room. He needed to get away. <laughs> to get so away from possible. her. Oh. But then she, so, so she gets a little older and she gets to work at that magazine reviewing she, that. This is like her dream job. That was amazing how she got it. Because she's a good writer and she finally was able to get a hold of and listen to the music. And this is her dream job. She gets to see bands, write about them, and get paid for it. This was a big deal that she was, she was getting paid really good. She yeah, was making she more. she was a kid. And, and she, she was, was making, making more money than her money. parents. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so then she's in this scenario where she can she has access she's young she has access to all these guys she's like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna get really good at sex so I need to start trying it out and she just has sex with random guys and you get to see all the details of her experience in the <laughs> yeah. book and it's, it's she, she's hilarious she's a hilarious character she is she's really witty smart and. Oh, and she totally. really is wild. She dresses like a crazy person. Really like, hat, like it, yeah. slash hats and like she dyes her hair crazy and like crazy outfits. And she's just a really cool personality to find, you know, to yeah. to meet in this book. Yes, it is. And um but however, she has to work really hard of it because it's not really her. It's like she's it's always a friend. It's but always like, a friend, yeah. She, and it's so funny because like she, People don't know because of like she, she they just think oh what a k- kooky crazy personality this yeah. person is right but she's just she doesn't know what she's doing so yeah. she's, she's just still a kid she's feeling garbage out of her mouth and people are like woman oh my god you're, <laughs> you're either insane or, a genius. or like a genius yes. and since people are not sure they just like keep her there on the side yes. <laughs> while the jury's out yes. And she just, she says so many crazy things. Yes. Oh my God. What's really interesting that she has another, there's another writer in the magazine. And towards the end of the book, when she's finally like, I don't have to put up with this bullshit. Like she's like really finding herself. And she's reviewing like these cool rock bands. It's what's popular, like the Pixies, all that. But she's still a kid. And like one of the writers realizes he writes more popular music. He writes more about popular music. And she's like, you know what? You're still a kid. You need to enjoy yourself. And she, he takes her to see this boy band, and she loves it because, at, in her job, it's not cool to like boy bands. That's like teenager bopper shit. But she's still a teenager, and like deep down, she still likes that shit. It's okay to like that. Yeah. She she comes to find out in her career that it's really easy to move up uh, as a, a reviewer that like rips bands rips. apart. So yes. then she decides. She's only gonna review bands that she doesn't like, so yeah. she can like tear them to yes. pieces. But then again, it, it's also when she gets to the cusp of like where she's just only looking at bands to, that she can really like just like nuclear bomb on them <laughs> yeah. and her reviews. She realizes she she starts going to clubs and like people in bands are throwing drinks at her and stuff. And she finally her. started seeing the repercussions of her actions. That it, she's writing these terrible things, but like these are hardworking these are musicians. musicians. Yes, and she, she finally like, comes face to face with them. Yeah, like, they hate her. And not only that, because she was like her whole life, she was like, I need to get out of this shitty little town. Yeah, and she worked so hard, and she realized that those bands she was disparaging were on the same boat as she was. Trying to get her work so hard and she was just destroying them. Yeah. So she felt really bad. And then she, at the same time, around that same time, she also realizes with her sexuality, yes. that she was just giving herself away to guys because she didn't know herself. Yeah. And they were taking advantage of her because she was 17 and she was dating these and she was a, men. And then she was a sure thing. Whoever she went with, like... Yeah. And so she, she, she comes to the realization that first she she can respect herself as a yes. person yes and that she has to respect other people 
And I really like the journey that she goes through and she, how she realizes. And that's when it reminds me that that other reviewer, he, the the other reviewer that takes her under under, under his, his wing, wing yes. is a reviewer that, unlike all the other reviewers, he actually is a fan of the music and he writes positive reviews. And I am. He lives, I think he's from the same area she is, too. Oh, I didn't remember yes. that. Yes, so that was, a, like, so he was the only one, also, that knew of her crazy TV oh, appearance. Her poem. Yes, oh poem. Yes, so he recognized so her. So I think as soon as she realized, she recognized, she stayed clear from him, because... Oh, she didn't. Right. She didn't interact with him because That's of that. That's so funny. But he was kind of like the end when she grew as a person. Like she's like, this is the person I, I connect with. Yeah. Not as a, a romantic relationship, but as a human being. Yeah. And she went. She, you know, she reverted, and she actually changed magazines to work for his fan magazine. Yeah. To do positive reviews on music mm -hmm. that she likes. Yeah. She has a romantic relationship, a platonic, platonic romantic, romantic really. Let's be clear. Slash, they kiss, I guess, <laughs> with a, a famous musician named John Kite. Yes. And she, she's been a writer at this magazine doing mm -hmm. reviews, and she's been doing regular reviews, neither terror like destroying reviews, negative reviews, or super positive. But she goes and she meets this guy. But this is a big deal. This guy is really big, so this is like a yeah. big deal that they give her this piece. And she goes to interview this guy, and they just go around town having crazy adventures, doing crazy they things. They click. It's hilarious. The guy loves her. She. They click, and their cooking is. It's like because he's out there he's too. He's out of his it's mind. Fucking crazy, also. and so is she. And this is one of. The, this is when she starts realizing she can be herself, that she can be as it's, out there she wants. And it's the first time she can be herself and she feels safe. And yes. So that, that he understands who she is, whatever. But the guy is yeah. much older than, than yes. she is. Yeah. So she comes back and writes the most ridiculous, <laughs> adoring, glowing review <laughs> yes. of this guy. Yes. And. And they do publish it, but then after that, she stopped getting jobs. She stopped getting jobs because it was too fan. It's too, yeah, yeah. It too like, fanatical. Too, too yeah. fanatical. And that they were supposed to be supposedly objective, but they actually prefer negative reviews. That's what it is. That's what sells. That's what sells. So so that's when she, she turns and she starts writing all these negative reviews. Mm -hmm. But... Actually, I really like because the John Keck character comes back. It keeps coming back, and you think, oh no, this guy was drunk that time, but and he's not paying attention to her. Yeah, it, it wasn't real, right? You yeah, think exactly. That. It's like, oh, it's kind of in her mind, maybe. But each time he's in town and she reaches out to him, is he like, she's his number one person. He adores her. Like, mm -hmm. you can see he, he really, really cares like, he really, about her. Yes, he really likes and her. And he takes her really seriously. And yeah. he, whenever he's in town, like, they meet a couple of times, and sometimes she's, like, really down or yeah. whatever, and he really listens to her. And at the end, once she finally, like, grows as a person, she's a little older, she talks to the guy again. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, yes, we are meant to fall in love, but you're too little. <laughs> I think that's why he never took it. I'm surprised. He wasn't one of those yeah, really rock yeah, stars. Yeah, no, he was, and he's like... You know, yeah. just give it time. We're yeah. Your YouTube baby. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that true. was nice. You could tell that he loves her, but mm -hmm. like he respects her. Unlike all the other sleaze bags she worked yes. with in the music industry, that she was such a baby, and yeah. they were just taking advantage of her. Which I've been wanting to talk about, like her turning point regarding her her view on her sexuality happens when she dates one of the other writers on the magazine, and he's like this posh guy, really cute. Everybody loves her, and she. And he starts, he's interested in her because she's kind of crazy and out there. And she, you can see she's insecure. She doesn't understand why he's dating her. And he finally invites her to a party with her posh friends. And so she's, his parents. And her parents. And his parents. And so she's like, oh my God, he's bringing me to his parents. So she's really excited to be there. And it ends up being, he. so they're at the party. And he's kind of like... Touching another girl, yeah, kind of making, making out his with his ex girlfriend, and she's freaking out. And then she overhears them. I think he had brought her to have a threesome with them. Oh yeah, because she she would be up to anything. Exactly. Because she was the easy girl, but she was just a kid. And he overhears 
him telling his ex-girlfriend, yeah, she's my little bit, what, what do they call her? A rough. A rough on the side. Yeah, because he, yeah. She, her ex-girlfriend was also posh. Very posh. And, and she finally, rea- and she was going to go through with it. She's like, you know what? She's like in the middle of nowhere in like their country house. She was going to go through with it. And the threesome. Yes. Oh and my even God, though she was like disgusted girl. and pissed off. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? I was like getting so upset. Something clicks and she goes out and goes off on him. Like, you know what? You're my little piece of posh on the side. I'm like, fuck you. And she fucks off and doesn't go through with it. Finally, like, some self-respect. I was yeah. so proud of her. I know. Finally, because of the whole time, like, she's having these... The one that one night stands and she and uh, you can see that they're using her, especially this guy, because she had had sex with him. And yeah, they were kind of really like they were kind of on an in uh, relationship. Yeah, but, but he was just using her. using her and not treating her right whenever yeah. he was available. So and he and actually she started writing bad reviews because she saw the reaction that people got from reading his, his bad reviews. Yes. that's all he would write bad reviews. And then she realized, hey, I'm better than this guy. I'm yeah. better than this guy in every way. Mm-hmm. And so my reviews are going to be different. My life is going to be different. And wow, it's just, I love this book. <laughs> yeah. Great, great book. I like the cover because it's it totally reminiscent of like my 90s era with the Doc Martens. And I'm like, yes, I can see myself the, in the this book kid. Cover yes. is like a Bell and Sebastian record. Cover. Yes. And I love all the m- music, music references. references. I, it's just, this book has me on every level. I love yeah. this book. Yeah, I can't wait to read more of her books. I think yeah. there's one of, yeah, there's several <laughs> books I'm getting around something about. Not so, how to build a woman, but how to be a woman. Something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we totally recommend this book. Please go check it out and let us know what you thought. Yes. Email us at Depper, you know, books at DepperAnimals.com and check out DepperAnimals.com. Whoa, what happened? We're out of batteries. Bye! Bye!